Okay, how do you create your blog on BigCommerce? Well, you guys are in luck. It's super easy, and I'm gonna show you guys how in this video. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run the e-commerce growth community, a free community for store owners. I'll leave the link in the description below. All right, let me share my screen, and I'll show you guys how to do it. When you go into the back end of your BigCommerce store, you'll be here under Home, and Big Commerce's blog is built in. You have it no matter what. You have it even if you haven't been using it. It's there. And you know, it may it may need to be dialed up <laughs> look quiet, but I'm going to show you guys how to get to it, how to see it working on your store, and you can always improve it from where it starts. So to get there, you want to go to storefront, just like you're going to web pages, except go one blip down to where it says blog. And in here, you can write a bunch of blogs. So if you don't have anything in here, which you probably don't, this is probably toggled to off and you probably just don't see anything in here. So let's start out by writing your first blog. Just click on the plus sign to create your first blog. Call it my first blog. And here's where we can type some stuff. And this would be where the body of your post goes. So type in as many paragraphs as you want. You can put an author in here if you want. You don't have to. You can put tags in here if you want. And you can use tags like categories, basically, uh, where they're clickable to other things that are tagged to the same thing. This right here is your summary thumbnail image. Think about this as your like featured image uh, in WordPress talk. And you can, you don't have to choose something, but I'm going to just choose something. I'm going to choose this big old picture of an owl right here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. And then it's automatically going to put a URL in here and you can put a meta description if you like for good SEO. I'm going to leave that blank and I'm just going to hit publish. Oh, you can see where it basically brought in the picture of the owl that I, that I uploaded. All right. Click publish and that blog is now live. Now, the post itself is going to be live as soon as you make that post, right? So here's my post, but if you click into the blog in the thumbnail, well, if I wasn't logged in as an administrator, then this wouldn't be able to show. Um, so we do need to enable our, our blog, right, to actually show up for the rest of the world, and we do that by hitting the toggle right here. Um, now, if we come up to our web pages menu, see the other thing that we need to do is actually make sure that it's in the menu. So in web pages, you'll see it listed here as blog. There is a check mark, and basically, if you have it toggled on, then it should show up here with a check mark. And whether or not it shows up in your menu depends on whether or not you have web pages set to show up in your menu in your theme. Uh, it looks like at the moment this one doesn't, so I'm going to show you guys where to get to that. So you go to Storefront Themes, and on Cornerstone at least, this could be different if you're on a different theme. But if I go into Cornerstone and click into st Theme Styles and then Header and Footer, there's a there's a toggle here that says Hide Links to Web Pages. And if I untoggle that and click Publish, you can see now that it shows up in the Previewer. And that's because basically it was set to not show any of our web pages uh, previously, whether they were set to visible or not. And so now because I toggled that on, you can see it showing the about us and the contact us, both with which had the green check mark in the web pages menu, as well as the blog. So if I go back to the front end and click refresh, now we can see it. Now we can navigate to it. Now we can click into the individual post and so we've turned on our blog, we've made a sample blog, we've put a beautiful picture of an owl into our sample blog. <laughs> and um, let me show you one more thing that you probably are gonna wanna know, which is if we go back into the customizer and we click into, let's see, I think it is global. Global, where is it? Blog, yes. So, under global, now again, this can be different on a different theme, but in Cornerstone, on that global tab, we go to blog, size of images, and it says optimized for that theme. And it's never optimized for that theme because it puts them in crazy, crazy small. So I would come in here and change this to something like, you know, 
800 by 600. Okay, so what we're doing is we're setting the maximum size of that featured image. So if I come back in here into the preview mode and click into the blog, well, perhaps I didn't upload this image big enough, but um, that's where we change that setting because by default, Cornerstone shows the tiniest, the tiniest blog images in the history of man. And so you want to upload bigger ones and you want to set that, you know, set that setting here so that you can, um, so that you can see bigger images here on your blog. Let's see here. Specif oh, I see. It didn't save it somehow. That's what it is. That's why it's not showing up. Right. Okay. Let's set, let's really set it to 800 by 600. Now we got a big picture of an owl. Perfect. Perfect. Let me publish that before I fat finger anything else. And we'll go back to the front end. Beautiful big picture of an owl. Now, <laughs> this is a big old picture of an owl with lots of white space. You're probably not going to use an image like this, but if you're going to set this to 800 by 600, use Canva or whatever to, to create actual images the right size, and they'll end up looking beautiful. All right, so um, if you guys are just getting started, be sure to check out my course up there and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys are stuck on. You know, I make these videos to help you guys out. So the more you guys tell me, the more I can help you. All right, thanks so much.